Hey man, hello and welcome to Relax Mail. All right, so what's the purpose of a man? That's if you are to take society's definition, men are these horrible, nasty, terrible ogres who just want to, you know, squash everybody and 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 do nothing but run around and get drunk and punch people in the nose, beat on beat on their wives, beat on their kids, and make life hell. I mean, you even have a word called toxic masculinity, which in all reality isn't an actual even a real word. It's uh, they're trying, it just sounds really mean and nasty, and so that's, they use that uh, particular word to, to, to make people feel, uh, feel bad. But in all reality, men have a purpose. We've had the same purpose from the beginning of time up till now. We have, there's, we are, if you are a intelligent design type of person, we are designed with a purpose. Uh, if you are more of an evolutionary person, we are have been we have developed certain skills and natural traits that are opposite as to what the uh, the female side of the uh, of the gender spectrum has. That, with that being said, there's a purpose for uh, for men. We have a purpose, not just for producing sperm cells to produce children. There's actually other purposes. There's reasons that our, we have a different physiology. A, there's a reason why we completely think differently and our brains are wired in a completely different way than what women are. So I wanted to talk about today that what are those, what are some differences between, uh, and what are some of the purposes that a man has? Now, if you hear some of the, some of the, uh, uh, oh, what are they, the, the, the poor saps who uh, have given up on life, uh, oh, incels and, and the uh, uh, MTOGs, the men going their own way, those types, those, both of those uh, guys have basically taken the, a, a, taken away out of their, of their, uh, of their responsibilities, they have to, they have chosen to actually just give up and and go. Now, incels have a different uh, have a different set of, of issues on their mind, and I'll address that sometime down the road. But as of right now, just their men have a purpose, and it's not that we are just a a wallet for uh, our family. We aren't. That's not not our purpose. Though we do have a purpose to provide for our family. We have to get up, out and leave our cave, go out, slay a dragon, drag it home, and and provide value. And the only way we can do that is by providing value to um, to society. And so you can't just ditch society and think that you're going to go your own way because it's not going to work. You're going to walk around with a grudge on your shoulder, a chip on your shoulder, and you're just it's not going to be a, a pretty sight. So you to, to understand what the uh, to what the your purpose is and why men are the way we are it helps you it helps people out uh, to understand how man and woman fit together like a puzzle piece and I don't mean sexually either we have we fit together in a lot more spiritual fashion than a lot of people want to uh, want to, to face up to the first one is we are here to provide. Yes, women can provide, and they do provide, and they provide in their own unique way. We have men are built with more muscle density, uh, so that in turn we actually are stronger. We have more upper body strength. Uh, I know a lot of women who have very uh, strong lower body strength. They're doesn't mean just because one person has something else that the other gender doesn't have doesn't mean that one is better than the other it's it means that we're equipped to handle things like war and fighting and 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 things like that and protecting our family which is another thing that we're we need to be and men are, are one of our purposes and I'll get to that in here in a moment but to to our main 
one of our main reasons uh, purposes is actually to provide we have a family you find a woman who you fall who you love uh, you come together you get married uh, which is basically a a vow that I've got your back you've got my back we're gonna take the world on as a team and we're gonna conquer it and what that definition of conquering is, is really just depend, depends on the person the, the couple together you work as a team and because of that most of the time it is expected and when that um, or it's expected that a man will go out and he will start earning a living now today's society a lot of times women also go out and they also earn a living and that's that's good but it's the man's job to actually do that and there's a lot of times where men don't and there's a if unless it's been expressly explained and and talked about if a man just stays home and the wife goes out and works there is a a uh, a level of resentment that actually forms because all of a sudden the husband's hanging out at the house all the time and the wife is busting her butt and it becomes a, a real role uh, reversal role because you've always heard you know guys are always saying well you're just sitting around at the house well if you've ever spent any time at the house especially with the uh, uh, with this coronavirus that's gone around you know that you don't just sit around the house there is always there's cooking there's cleaning there's chasing after the kid why is the why is what's his name without his diaper again oh my gosh he's gonna start spraying every place you know you've got you you have there's so much going on that you understand why uh, after spending two weeks at the house why if your wife stays at home you get home she's like oh thank god I'm beat because she's been out she's been paying the bill she's been taking care of the business of the home while you're going out doing the business of, of providing the resources needed to, for your home to, to run. So you've got the men's purposes to bring the resources in. And in all reality, and I, me and the wife, my wife do this very same thing. She runs, she takes care of the house. And so because of that, uh, we have a very traditional dynamic in it. Uh, and it allows for a more balanced, what I believe to be a more balanced uh, set of children. So another purpose for men is to actually also to be a mentor for his children. Yeah, when they're from about, from when they're born till about 12 years old, 12, 13, you are a parent. Yeah, you've got to be, you know, on top of them, making sure they're not killing themselves or doing anything like that. But then there is a period around 12, 13, 14 years old where it is time to transition from parent actually into mentor. And that's where uh, men in the family come in and really, really shine. Yeah, we come and we help the wife with the baby. Uh, we let her sleep at night and we get up and, and, and uh, feed them. Uh, feed junior when it's time change the diaper and, and all that you a lot of times us men take pride in the fact that we do get up we do spend those early morning hours with uh, with kiddo while they're teething and or not feeling well and we're we're walking up and down wearing a uh, you know wearing a rut in our in our uh, in our floors because we're trying to soothe the child who is not feeling well who's might, might be slightly colicky and things like that and there's a time where you during that six months of no sleep where you actually learn to you become an adult all of a sudden you you take that pride you take the realize that it's an honor to be able to take care of your your baby as your wife gets to sleep and gets the much needed sleep because she's got uh, got the morning shift yeah, you go out, you uh, you go and work, but that's again part of your job, and that's something to accept. After that little baby grows up and becomes uh, starts entering entering into the teenage years, that's where mentorship from dad comes into play. You show start showing the boy how you're how he needs to be acting properly in society. You show, start giving him the skills that he needs to be able to be a productive man that understand that yeah you're gonna have to do some hard things from time to time 
but that's where being a guy you have to learn to suck it up do the job and then when you get that job done then you can emotionally process that all that information that uh, whether you're feeling you know sorry for yourself or or you're had a rough day or you know whatever the whatever the instance is so to be able to um, to properly mentor properly show and guide a a the young man in who's looking to you who is the you know the the gap tooth drooly uh, uh, drooly faced baby who saw dad as Superman it's now time for you to actually be able to go forward and show that your son that yeah Superman is not an easy job there's a lot of trials and tribulations and to, teaching them that it's okay to to fail and that uh, give them the skills on how to actually talk to girls and be confident in about yourself and all these things that take time take an effort and takes uh, takes everything that you have and all the knowledge that you have and you are then are able to distill it and focus it in it to uh, into to junior and let him know that hey this is what society expects of you this is how you need to need to act when you're being uh, when you're out in society you need to be respectful you need, and all these other things there was a great example of this a uh, several years ago where there was a a over in Africa there was a uh, wildlife refuge that was starting to have the rhinoceroses show up dead and they couldn't figure out what was going on because it wasn't poachers they weren't there weren't any bullet holes or anything in there it's just it was like something was coming along and just killing uh the rhinoceroses just willy-nilly uh they did a lot of investigation got some video uh some hit some camera trail cameras and of other equipment out there and was able to see that it was a pack of juvenile elephants that were just killing uh, basically for sport. They were just being these unruly little turds. Um, now what happened is that a couple of years before to thin the herd out and to help another herd, they actually went and took a lot of the older, more mature elef male elephants out of the herd and put them into another herd uh, other other places in Africa and so there wasn't a male role model for these juveniles to actually understand what it means to be an elephant how are they supposed to be an elephant and elephants don't do this or this uh, and so the moment they realized what was probably happening they grabbed some of those old uh, some of those older elephants those mature elephants brought them back into the herd and shortly thereafter the killings stopped all of a sudden they the the boys had the mentor that they needed in their life and so it's good that you are around in your son's life you want that you want you should take that responsibility and and, and embrace it whether you have a child who um, you see every day or not if you don't start making every effort you can to actually start seeing your son because or your daughter because dads have an influence on their daughters too the same as mothers have an influence on their sons the but what each one teaches mothers normally teach their sons the the art and the skills of compassion while dads have teach them how to be how to toughen up how to get a thicker skin so they can learn how to be balanced with uh with their emotions and with how other people uh how people act so and fathers on the other hand show their daughters how men should be act towards their son or towards their towards them so that uh so going on a date maybe you do a father daughter date and you show them that a guy gets himself dressed up and looks nice and doesn't come walking in there with pants hanging off his butt and a, a raggedy old t-shirt and a messed up hair no you get yourself clean shaven you go through all the steps as if you're taking a taking a a a woman a full-grown woman out on a date you do the same thing you take them you t treat them to a to a nice restaurant you take pull the chair out for them let them set and you 
provide all the all the proper manners and customs that you do to show that uh, your daughter is special in your world so she understands that when a guy sees her and wants to court her down the road that uh how she needs to be treated and that way if she uh, he just kind of sits around and goes yeah oh, you know it's just kind of a bum she can go that there's a bum i don't want that in my life i'm going someplace else so men be a mentor the last um, point I want to make on this, it has everything to do with how a man's brain is wired. You've heard how, um, how you know, a man and a woman can look at the same thing uh, and see two different items. Uh, and that, again, goes with every event being neutral you, uh, until you put, apply a thought to it. So the way a man will look at something and the way a woman looks at something Together they can see the whole item, but to, so it's good when you're uh, when you are married that you have open and uh, open dialogue and you have a conversation and you understand uh, that yeah your wife is not going to have agree with everything that you do and you're not going to agree everything with what what your wife does. But the trick and the and the key to the, all that is that together. Yeah, you're going to have to learn to compromise. You're going to have to learn how to do um, how to how to work together. And in doing so, you actually because you have two different views, two different lines of thinking, two different ways of addressing a problem, you can come up with a solution that works a heck of a lot better than if the guy went out and did it his own way, or the wife goes out and does it her own her own way that y'all are meant to be a team y'all are meant to be together and because of that the team is uh is a lot stronger the 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 sum is greater than the than the parts and so because of that not a, a man is not greater than a woman and a woman is not better than a man y'all have your own qualities you have your own personalities your own traits and because of that you make a you make marriage and you make people and the and the children that are in that uh, in that gathering and in that unit a a lot stronger one all right so there you go that's what the difference between uh why, what the purpose of a man is and if you have any questions comments insights thoughts anything like that please leave them in the comments below if you like the this channel you uh please click the subscribe if you like the video hit that thumbs up button please and if you really, really like this video or this channel, then hit that bell icon and that way you'll be notified about every time that you actually, uh, I put out a new video, which is, I'm trying to aim for about every Friday. Hopefully weather uh, continues to, uh, hopefully the weather continues to cooperate and we will be able to, um, to keep these videos cranking out. If not, then it'll be in spits and starts and coughs and all that that's been going here the past six months or so. So, but anyhow, so I want to thank you again for uh, for watching. You have yourself a great week, and ne until next time, bye.